Yo, this is K Truce, and today I'm going to talk about the Alpine SWR 1042D, maybe better known as the Type R, and that's 10 inches to be exact. This sub has dual voice coils capable of 500 watts RMS and 1500 watts peak at 2 ohm. And unfortunately, I can't find an exact release date, but the oldest forum post I can dig up about this is from August 26, 2006, on a Nissan 350Z forum, out of all places. So, with that piece of information that makes this sub at least 10 to 15 years old depending on when it was bought and my buddy matt let me borrow this sub for the review so shout out to him i think he said he found it behind a goodwill in the dumpster or some shit i don't know and it's been really hot here lately which makes it tough to film so thankfully he's been patient with me with using it so yeah shout out to him as you can see the box is a little beat to shit it's old it was found in a dumpster okay but you could see the metal plate on the outside so i really wonder how much metal is on the inside. When you look at this little 10 inch sub, it looks like a baby. Until you go to pick it up and throw out your fucking back. That baby eats. Baby back, 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 baby. Really though, this tin and the box is probably over half as heavy as the dual JL12s. Which is nice, it helps with that feeling of durability, you know, gives it some heft. This is also just a really good looking sub, both front and back. I even like this aesthetic design better than the current ones. I want to see that big red R, loud and proud, right in the middle. Don't be shy now. This sub also pairs perfectly with the Kenwood Exelon X502-1, giving it the 500 watt RMS electroshock therapy it so deserves. Uh oh. <laughs> Really, this is just a super good looking subwoofer. I mean, Alpine really fucking killed it. Even on the new designs, the R is just fucked up. I want to be able to know what the fucking size is in the R. Look at that Kevlar, baby. It's the same shit Bulletproof Vest is made out of. That big ass magnet. You ain't fucking with that magnet, bro. Come on. It's crazy to think that this thing came out the same time that I was in the third grade. So how will a 15 year old 10 inch prom night dumpster baby hold up after countless years of neglect? Well, today my friends is the day you get to find out. So, enjoy. It's fucking perfect. As you can see, and maybe slightly here, the box has seen better days. Hey bro. Hey, what's going on buddy? I'm just uh, filming out here. What are you doing? Not sit, man. Hey, I know you were supposed to be filming this review and all that shit, but uh... I feel like I lent you these subs like three weeks ago, man. What's going on? Oh man, you know, it just... It's been hot out, bro. It just... It takes me a while to film these reviews, man. You know, I gotta get a lot of footage, I gotta get a lot of clips. You know, I just gotta, I just gotta test out. I mean, I've been rolling with no subs for like three weeks, man. What's, what's, what's going on here, man? Damn, bro, we're living what's going fucking. On? I ain't trying to be an asshole about it or nothing, bro, but. Are them dual door speakers I gave you not enough? Uh, no. No, they are. Okay, bro, let me just get a few more clips and I'll have this back to you in three days. I don't know, man. Three days. That was strange, but anyways, this sub has not lost any of the quality throughout the years. Buddy Matt said that on occasion, this sub would pop the amp into protect mode, but that did not happen to me one time, so who knows. Thankfully, Alpine made this sub tough as fuck, with a Kevlar reinforced pulp comb with Sam Santo Sant <laughs> Santoprene trademark rubber surround to keep people from ruining such a great thing. The sound quality of this sub is amazing, and I would say with certain song mixes, it sounds cleaner than the dual JL12s, which is kind of crazy to think about, but it's definitely true. This little sub allows you to have whatever you want in the trunk and still piss off your soccer mom neighbor Stacy. Want to put a stroller in the trunk but still deafen your kid? 
This is perfect. Then the little bastard can't hear you whenever you and his mom are doing the hokey pokey at 2 a.m. Or if you're Chris Brown, I guess you would call it a sparring session or something like that. You get the point. Yes, with certain mixes, this sub isn't that great. But it's a 10 inch sub. You can only expect so much. But I really need this. I really enjoy this sub. It's my favorite sub I've ever had. So I even tried to offer Buddy Matt both my two JLs in the base wedge box for this Type R10, and he wouldn't do it. I don't even really know why he even needs this Type R. I'm pretty sure he dailies a 2009 Segway XT. I even offered to buy it from him at MSRP prices from back in the day, accorded for inflation today, and he still wouldn't do it. He wouldn't budge. And now, he's getting a bit more aggressive about how long it's taken me to film this video. I'm not going to cap to you guys. I already have all the footage. I just need more time with it. Yeah, so I hope to do a video on this soon, guys. Um, what the hell? What the fuck? Hey. hey, what's going on, buddy? How you oh, doing? Where the fuck's the Type R? What is this? You reviewing some? Oh yeah, I was just looking at these because I was hoping to review them in the bro, soon. Bro, where the uh, fuck's my Type I'm still, R? I'm still getting footage for the bro, Type R, bro. You literally got me selling my fucking shoes for a fix right now, bro. Come what on, the hell, bro. man? Look, look. Where's the fucking Type R look, at, man? Bro. What is this? You got another sub going on? Look, bro. I'm just, I'm just doing this real quick. I still gotta get some footage for the Type R, bro. Bro, what, what is going on in here? Bro, what, it's two tens. What is, what is it's two tens. The Type R's. Dude, the Type R's bolted in your fucking car, bro. Bro, it's bolted. In your fucking That's car, so bro. it doesn't Listen, move bro. in case of a crash. Listen, bro, bro, you got me trying to get a job at McDonald's right now. Bro, they McDonald's. need people. What do you want me bro, to do? They won't hire me. I don't know. Bro, what the fuck? Hey, go on hire me, bro. Damn. Go on, bro. This fucking guy. This look like the guy that owned a Type R, anyways. Approximately ten hours later. Okay, after spending a little more time with it, I decided to keep it. Yeah, Buddy Matt is going to be pissed, whatever. He'll, I'm sure he'll understand. No, no, I don't think he will. I'll tell him I got robbed at the gas station one night by a meth head. There's no way he'll be able to prove otherwise. Plus, I can just avoid him. We live like 60 miles apart. On the outside looking in, I know how bad this seems. It's kind of fucked up, but I tried everything to get him to sell it, trade it, compete for its love, everything. I even offered him my sister like it's 1483 and his family had a magical goat that my family wanted. But still, he just would not take it. Anyways, I'm gonna spend a little more time with the sub before I finish this review and hopefully can be a little more thorough and concise about it. So, yeah, talk to you guys then. Yo, it's been a while since I last recorded the dialogue for this video and I just remembered I need to finish it. So, yeah, it's probably been about six months. A lot has happened. I've moved states and things like that. Not gonna get into it. Back to the Type R. I've had it for a while now and it's still doing great, still doing solid, I still love it. I sold the JLs, even the 12 inch Type R I had. I really only need the SWR 1042D, that's my true main subwoofer. If subwoofers were Zodiac signs, mine would definitely be the Type R. Before this, I never really understood how someone could be in love with an inanimate object, you know, like that guy who was in love with the Monte Carlo and shit. And body pillows, you know, shit like that. Love dolls and weirdo shit. But, uh, guys, I think I'm in love with this Type R, guys. It just really gets me like no one else does, you know? It's just, it just understands me. It's like it was made for me. The SWR 1042D is an amazing sub, if you can find one in good condition. I'm kind of curious as to how the new Type R's compare, but honestly, I have no interest in cheating on my SWR 1042D. There's something about this one in particular that's just so fascinating awe-inspiring, memorable. And it's proven by the fact that I had to move states to avoid Buddy Matt. He's super pissed and a lot more aggressive than I have ever seen him. He's like a fucking hopped up pit bull on steroids. With an upset stomach from eating six month old White Castle that he found on the fucking floorboard. Still, he doesn't believe I was robbed, even though I'm pretty sure I was convincing enough. Either way, he's still not getting it. Not now, not ever. I tried to offer him some good ass deals, but he just refused. So now he gets nothing. It's life. 
So, sorry for the distractions. I'm going to wrap up this review and maybe my last ever subwoofer review because this is an amazing sub and I don't think I'll ever need anything else, honestly. Yeah, it's old, but its quality is still there, competing with subs put out today. If you see one of these out there in the wild, I definitely suggest buying it and never letting it go. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, 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 what the fuck? Bro, why the fuck did you come in here, bro? I'm taking a shit. Bro, where the fuck's my type bar, bro? I've been waiting for weeks. I'm not waiting with fuck, bro. I'm leaving without it. Where the fuck's this shit? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, this my fucking type bar bolted in your fucking top. Bro, yeah. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. I swear to God. Dude, I can't believe I had $4 million when yesterday I had nothing.